Chapter 2 When Arthur got back to the classroom, his friends rushed to his side. You, sur you survived, said Buster. We know I view signs of torture, Dinky added. He looked a little disappointed. What happened? asked Francine. Arthur let out a sigh. Mr. Henry gave me this. He held up a large brown envelope. He said it was for my mom. That's it? asked Muffy. She reached out for a closer look. What does it say? Is it still? Francie grabbed the envelope. It's still alright. She held, up, held it up to the light. And too thick to read through. Give it a shake, said Buster, cocking his ears. Francie shook the envelope for a moment. It rustled softly. That doesn't tell us much, she said. Dinky formed his arms. Dad, let's just open it. I can't, said Arthur. It's addressed to my mother, and look what's stamped on it. Private and confidential. That's a bad sign, said the buster. Good news is never private. Besides, said Dinky, you can start making excuses until you know what kind of trouble you're in. Didn't Mr. Henry give you any clothes at all? Francis asked. He said it was important, said Arthur, taking back the envelope. That was about it? About it? If it was a good news, said Muffy, Mr. Henry would have told you. My mother always tells me right away if we got a new limousine or cookies making a special dessert for dinner. He didn't say anything like that, Arthur admitted. That means it bad news, said Francie. The question is, how bad is it? This was a not question Arthur wanted to think about. Dinky laughed. <coughs> oh, I bet you lost that library book. I don't think Mr. Henry gets involved over the library books, said Arthur. Besides, I just returned her mine. Oh no, said Francie. What? said Muffy. Tell us, said Buster. Tell me, said Arthur. Never mind, said Francie. It's too terrible to think about. Arthur turned pale. That's why you have to tell me. All right, said Francie. But you forced me into it. She shuddered. What if you didn't pass Mr. Rapmore's history test? Arthur frowned. The big test had been the week before. It had been a hard one. Remember, remember Arthur, you told me afterward that you write, wrote how the pilgrims came to America in 1620? Francie, the pilgrims did came to America in 1620. She looked surprised. Really? Everyone else nodded. Well, still, Francie tapped the envelope. The proof is right here, and if you fail the test, you might fail the whole year. You know what that means? Summer school. Arthur sat down in his chair and thought about his fate. Summer school. Paragraph the two most dragged words in the English language. He saw himself chained to the dark wall of a dark dungeon. Outside the bar window, he could hear his friends playing. He, lo he looked out for, through the bars. Buster and the brain were setting up the tent for camping. Muffy and Fernella were all arriving. Arthur looked around his cell. He was alone, with only some thick, dusty books for company. Then the guard, Mr. Redburn, worked in. He was sweeping ice cream from a cone. A few drops fell on the stones, just behind Arthur's reach. Snap out of it, Arthur, said Buster. Arthur looked a little boy looked at his friends blankly. You know what they say, Buster went on. Those who don't learn their history are doomed to repeat it. Arthur sighed. History or not, he felt doomed for sure.